Yes, and I can wholeheartedly agree with that apprehension. Um, the prolonged exposure therapy was, hey, we got a great idea here. We're going to take your worst day of your life. We're going to make you relive it five times in an hour. Then we're going to send you out into the world a better person that day. Um, so, one, they took me into a room with a counselor and we relived my worst experience in my entire life. There were no hugs afterwards. There were no reassurances. There were, well, I'll see you in a couple of days. We need to do this treatment three times a week. We need to do this, this, and this. So there was no comforting. It was just raw and gritty. It, it, there was no band-aids. There was nothing. It was intense there. And then you're sent home. Um, you're sent to work. You're sent to be around people. And you've got all this raw emotion sitting there. So I was very apprehensive and it got worse and worse and worse. And I think that was part of the problem that affected the PET was because I was so engrossed in how I was feeling day to day and how I was guarding myself to reacting with people that I would meet and things like that. So I never really gave myself a chance to heal. But with um, Sherry's process, it is an immersion therapy. You're, you're in it. You're there. But at the end of that session, at the end of that hour, two hours, whatever it is that she feels she needs with you, you're not left to go home alone. You're not left to walk out the door with all that grief on your shoulders. She actually leaves you in a space and in a mindset that is very better. It's, it's very nurturing and comforting and, and healthy and well. It's hard to explain, real great to experience. I think that's the best way I can say it. It's, it's, it's a different thing. It's, it's very different. But I would, never, I would never recommend prolonged exposure. I would never recommend CPT uh, or any of the other therapies out there for it because of the effects that it does have.